It's an incredible honor to be on stage with these men tonight to showcase their love for this glee club, the immense history that they themselves helped build. Uh, and we're about to sing uh, some old songs, some uh, songs that have been in the repertoire for many, many years. Uh, we had an incredible afternoon and evening yesterday um, getting to know each other, guys reminiscing um, over at Bailey Hall. Um, just had a really wonderful day together. And uh, we want to share this next collection of songs with you. Uh, so the first uh, four songs, um, I have the privilege to, to direct with them. The first of is uh, one that was composed by Edvard Grieg. Uh, this arrangement, though, was done by Howard McKinney in, in 1935. Uh, and it's become one of a traditional style of glee club literature, uh, glee club song entitled Brothers Sing On. The second number is a Stan Stanley Dickinson and P.J. O'Reilly song from 1921 called Thanks Be to God. Our third song has become one that's been a part of our rep uh, up until today. Uh, it's written by Re Willie Richter uh, based on the Old Testament book of Genesis written in 1933 called The Creation. And we'll finish the first part of our concert with a James Rogers and Charles Loomis arrangement from 1912 called The Star. Your Purdue Varsity Glee Club alumni.
Thank you so much. It is my honor now to introduce former Associate Director of PMO, Dee Dee Mantock, and former PMO and Purdue Varsity Glee Club Director, Bill Allen. Dee Dee was hired in, yes, give him a round of applause. <laughs> Dee Dee was hired in 1979 as assistant to the director by the late William E. Lumen. She served as accompanist for the Purdue Varsity Glee Club and the Purdue Wets was the director and accompanist of Choral Club. She was an arranger and vocal coach for music specialties, the Purdue Christmas Show, as well as accompanied the 4-H co Chorus, the Home Extension Chorus, and helped oversee the publishing of several choral festival selection songbooks for their annual festival each summer. Dee Dee is now semi-retired as a director, adjudicator, arranger, vocal coach, flutist, and singer. Dee Dee was, an instru was instrumental in helping us select all of the alumni music as a part of the 125th Planning Committee, as well as suggesting soloists and specialty groups to sing for this weekend's celebration. Please give a warm welcome to Dee Dee Mantok. It's now my honor to introduce former director of PMO and the Purdue Varsity Glee Club, Bill Allen, who will be conducting the next two numbers, Pilgrim's Chorus and All the Things You Are. Bill was a member of the Purdue staff beginning in 1970 as an assistant director to PMO, and then in 1972 became an associate director of PMO under then director William E. Lumen. Following Bill's death in 1982, Bill Allen became director of PMO and the Glee Club from 1983 to 1989. For years after, Bill continued his love of music in Cincinnati, Ohio, directing and teaching until his retirement in 2005, where he and his wife Peggy then moved to Florida. He founded and directed ensembles like Brothers Sing On, a men's glee club pattern exactly like the Purdue Varsity Glee Club, and directed his beloved church choir at North Lake Presbyterian Church up until his official retirement in 2012. It is my honor to welcome back to the stage Mr. Bill Allen.
It's now my honor to introduce another former director of PMO, Brian Breed, who will be conducting our next two songs, There Will Be Music and Prayer from Lohengrin. Brian joined the PMO family in 1987 as the director of the Perduettes and the Choral Club, and in the fall of 1988, founded the PMO Express. In 1989, Brian became the director of Purdue Musical Organizations and also took over the leadership of the Purdue Varsity Glee Club. During his tenure at PMO, Brian also founded the ensembles All Campus and Community Chorale and Heart and Soul, and was the director of the University Choir. As director of Purdue Musical Organizations, Brian's group performed for a variety of audience throughout, audiences throughout Indiana, the United States, and beyond. Brian and his wife, Darren, still reside in West Lafayette, Indiana. They have five children and eight grandchildren. Brian and Darren are still working full-time here in Lafayette area. Brian works with State Farm and Darren manages the, the Sisters 2 sewing machine shop with her sister. In addition, Brian and Darren run their own espresso catering business called A Better Cup Espresso. Brian continues to keep involved with writing and arranging vocal music and works with singers and ensembles through his Academy of Vocal Performance. Please give a warm welcome to the stage, Mr. Brian Breed. having a good time so far? <laughs> Have you got some good pictures of these guys? They're pretty awesome. This is an honor and a privilege and merits a, a brief prayer that quotes a song we sang a lot. It's usually a blessing or grace at the table, but be present in this great hall Oh Lord, be here 
and everywhere adored. This music bless and grant that we may sing, say together. Sing. Together. No, I'll say sing. And then we've been away for a while. We've, I'll say sing, you say together. Sing. Together. May sing together in fellowship with thee.
three songs were composed by George M. Cohan, an American entertainer, composer, lyricist, actor, singer, dancer, and producer. Cohan began his career as a child, performing with his parents and sister in a vaudeville act known as The Four Cohans. Beginning with the Broadway show Little Johnny Jones in 1904, he wrote, composed, produced, and appeared in more than three dozen Broadway musicals. And he published more than 300 songs during his lifetime, including the standards you'll hear shortly. Yankee Doodle Dandy, Harrigan, and Your Grand Old Flag. Now please enjoy our tribute to George M. Cohan, This next song we want to sing for you uh, is uh, a song that was written for chorus and orchestra by Peter Wolowski, and the words are by Julia Ward Ho uh, in 19, or 1862. The American poet and author was best known for writing the Battle Hymn of the Republic, written as a rallying song for the Union troops after Howe visited Washington during the Civil War and after witnessing the troops defend the Capitol after a con uh, Confederate attack. This song was often the last song, song sung at the end of every Glee Club show and performance. We hope that you will join in singing the last chorus, uh, and the final chorus of this song. I want to take this opportunity before we sing this song to say a very special thanks to my PMO staff uh, for their incredible hard work in planning for this momentous an anniversary. I am incredibly grateful to all of you for your dedication to this department. In, in addition, I would like to say a special thank you to the Hall of Music staff for their help within all of our technical setup and operations this weekend as well. If you are heading to our anniversary celebration over at the CoREC, uh, following this concert, the buses will be available for those who need them. I'm right outside here, the shuttles will be taking folks out. Um, we thank you all for coming tonight. God bless. Our final song uh, following uh, the Battle Hymn of the Republic will be uh, a song that has been, was composed by E.J. Wadawa, a former Glee Club member and the director in 1912. This song was once called the War Song and then became Purdue's official fight song. And we'll ask you to join with us as well in singing Hail Purdue.
may she never lie.